Today I'm going to be cutting three bigger Bay of Fundy rocks that we can find here in Nova Scotia. I've had these uh, for a little bit, been waiting to get a big saw to cut them, and now I have a big saw, so I'm going to cut them today. First thing we have here is a, what I believe is, is a limonite. It's like a green, yellow, and, and a little bit of red in there, limonite. It's not a jasper, I don't think. It just doesn't look right. But anyway, we'll cut it, and we'll see what it looks like after we see it wet and slabbed. I thought this would be pretty cool to cut just because of the colors. This is a moss, what we call a moss agate here. You find this in the lobster hole on the Bay of Fundy. Uh, I've had this piece for a while. It's super hard material, so the 24-inch Highland Park slab saw is perfect for this. And we have a piece of tree rock sea maggot. And I think this is going to look really cool. I don't think we're going to be able to slab it this way just because it's really irregular. It's not going to fit my saw well, but it will fit in really well this way. So I think we're going to cut it, slab it this way. Uh, I think it's still going to look really cool. It's got some cool agate details there. So those are the three rocks we're going to slab up today. So let's get started. Okay, let's look at the slabs on our green rock here. So this turned out pretty cool. Got some yellows and with the green and some little bit of red tinge in there. There's the other side. This is the second slab I took. It's got some, some plumage. There's a little quartz pocket there. Chalcedony pocket, actually. So this is pretty nice material. This would make a nice looking cab. Here's the end slab. This one's got a bigger Chalcedony pocket there. Forgot to show our actual rock with the slab off it. So there's what it looks like. Again, really cool material. My, you see my saw mark there. That's where it fell off the saw after it got cut. Sometimes that happens. So that one was pretty cool. So now we're going to go on and cut our Bay of Fundy Moss Agate. Okay, the Moss Agate is in there. It is viced up and ready to be cut. So we'll probably take a couple slices off this as well. Okay, our Moss Agate slabs are done. Let's take a look. Very nice. Let's go look at these closer at the table. So here's the first slab. This stuff you'll find chalcedony agates through it, like kind of like the cycads are here. But some really nice yellow. This stuff is super hard, so it takes a really good polish. Really awesome details throughout this. You see the tiny agates in there. Yellow jasper. Some red. With some agate. Some plumes. Some mossy bits. Some chalcedony over here. Really cool stuff. Here's the end piece.
So this stuff makes uh, really nice cabs because it polishes up beautifully and it's got all these wicked patterns in it. So that's the Bay of Fundy Moss Agate and now we're going to move on to the Bay of Fundy Tree Rock Seam Agate piece. So again, we're going to cut it this way. We're going to cut slabs off this side because that's the way it's going to fit in the saw best. So let's get started. Okay, this Tree Rock Seam Agate fit really nicely in the vise. I was able to get a nice big chunk out to the blade. So I'm going to get probably three slabs probably off this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's take a look at these tree rock agate slabs. So that concludes our slabbing video today. I'm going to get some close-up photos here at the end with some of the cooler details and I'll show those at the end of the video. But uh, in the meantime, I want everybody to have a great week, safe week, and we'll catch you in the next one.